this is for Trent. Um, you need to download MP Lab X IDE. So that's MP Lab X uh, integrated development environment. It's free. So let's have a look. Click on it, and then go to this one here, MP Lab. So microchip.com. MP Lab, MP Lab uh, IDE. And then here it is here. And then scroll down to the downloads. And you can download for Windows, you can download for Linux, or you can download for Mac. I've got Windows. I'm I'm going to download the Windows version. So here we go. Click download. It's about half a gig, so it'll take some time to do that. I'm now going to download the compiler. So in the search engine, I'll just put in MPLAB X, XC16. And the 16 stands for 16-bit compiler. And it's a C compiler. So if I put that in, XC16, and the first one comes up, microchip.com MPLAB compilers. So here's the, the URL, and we're going to the XD16, and we scroll down to Downloads. And again, you can choose Windows, Linux, or Mac. I'm going to choose the XD16 compiler for Windows, because I've got a Windows machine, and Download. And you can see it's 74 meg. Now, while the MPLAB X IDE is being downloaded and the MPLAB X16 compiler is being downloaded, we can look at the documentation for the board you have, you know, the little microstick board. So I just put it in here for Google and just go microchip, microchip, microstick. To I, I I think that's the right one. And here it is here. Let's let's look at some images. This is the one, you can see the picture. Go back to all and microstip two. And a reason we'll find this out is what part is supplied looking at the package contents here. And I believe this is the part that's installed. You can double check. Pick 24HJ128 GP502. You need to check that's the right part. Um, when we did the search, it came to this page. This is the ordering number, and the name of the board is Microstick2. Now, there are some on this page, there are some old code examples. Look at the date. 2013, 2011, so they are quite old. We'll have to give you new ones. Um, while the other files are downloading, have a quick read of the information sheet. Okay, so the information sheet's quite old, so it's quite easy. So I will just go to the information sheet. Not too much there, but what's important for you is the schematic of the pinouts. Um, so there's more on the schematic, you can read that, but obviously this is a 28 pin part. So this is a 28 pin part. So, uh, here we go, so 28 pin part. So there's 28 pins, that's better. 28 pins, 
um, has a jumper for an LED so we can test the LEDs working. Um, you can see there's a reset button here. This is a reset pin and you can see some outputs here. Um, what's not shown is the schematic with the debug. So you leave these pins alone here and I'll give you some wiring and we'll put this jumper in so you can make the LED work and we'll choose one of these other pins so that we can uh, have a push button. So this is the schematic and we'll go back, go through. So it is for the micro stick two. Can we go any further? So I'll just reduce the resolution here. Uh, I can't move the window down, but that's okay. You can look at that documentation later. And you can see also at the end of the board, there's a ground and a UART, a UART receive and a UART transmit for a UART receive and a UART transmit on the board. So that's also important. And we'll show you that another time. Okay, end of uh, end here. Okay, you can see that MPLAB X 3.51 for Windows is downloaded. Yours might be a Mac or a uh, Linux machine. And also the XD XC 16 compiler is also downloaded. You can see one's just over a half a half a gig and the other one is uh, 76 meg. I recommend installing the MPLAB X first, the IDE. And that'll take some time. So we'll just click on that and you'll see the, ch the choices that you get. So I'm going to double click and make it run. It'll take some time since it's quite a big installer.